Uh, yes, guys, welcome back. And guess what? We tell you, like, here at Switch TV, we're also here to educate you. And guess what? You have to have some good hygiene practices. So make sure you maintain hygiene to stop the spread of COVID-19. You get, you have to wash your hands often with soap and water scrubbing for at least 20 seconds or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. And this includes before and after eating and after <coughs> going to the toilet. Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth, just in case you may have touched an infected surface. Sawa sawa. Clean and disinfect surfaces and objects you use often, such as desks, you know, doorknobs, mobile phones, keys, wallets and work passes and your phones you know use cashless methods of transaction instead of cash exchange when possible and when you cough and sneeze make sure you do it like <coughs> if you get any of the COVID-19 symptoms stay at home self quarantine and call the number 719 <coughs> Make sure you protect yourself from COVID-19 and that's how you get to protect your community and the ones that you love. Back to Mikali. Yay! And your yes. questions, what? I don't think we have the time to answer all of them, but you'll try to keep it short and sweet. Sure, sure, sure. All right. Uh, please ask Masinde, how does one deal with rejection? Your partner not wanting to talk to you or respond to your texts. Oh my goodness. Rejection is part of life, man. It's part of life. Not everybody is going to love you. Not everybody is going to, to like you, but you need to love yourself. The greatest damage you can ever do is to stop loving yourself. If a guy stops loving you, you know what, it's so cool, it's okay, let him go. Just accept it, you know, when somebody's not into you, it's okay. You want to be with somebody who loves you for real. You want to be somebody who loves you for real. And sometimes mm -hmm. you may actually get into a relationship and it doesn't work out. It's not the end of life. Some of us, we want to commit suicide because somebody doesn't love us. Did that person create you? Nope. Nope. So why are you doing that to yourself? Come awesome. on, love yourself and progress. What I have, uh, okay. <clears throat> Oh, I love, love, love Dan. He's such a powerhouse. I love his show decoded as, as well. It has really helped me a lot in my relationship. That is Ruth all the way in Zima. Thank you, Ruth. And uh, ha, that question, where did it go again? Mm -hmm. ha, oh, yeah. Here we go. Um, hey, girls, you look gorgeous as usual. Please advise me on how I can get back on track after leaving my husband's place due to how he was treating me. Yes. I'll tie this down to the first question that was asked about, you know, what should you stop, what it is that you're doing for the sake of marriage. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because let me tell people that life has got seasons. So once you get married, you need to ask, ask yourself, is this season of marriage working for me? Is this season of marriage working for my progress? Yes, some people will end up not working in a career, but that doesn't mean that you stop also fulfilling your purpose. And when you fulfill your purpose, you're going to make some money perhaps. Perhaps. The important thing is make money, make your own money, have your own way and have your own thing that you're doing because it's going to give you fulfillment. It's not even about the other person leaving. It's going to yeah. give you fulfillment. And even as a man or as a woman, it feels good when kids are eating food that you've worked hard for. Yeah. You know, so do your thing. Do your thing, thing to contribute so you can be able to do stuff. Eh? For some, some couples, I've actually worked with them. You find somebody, a wife coming and saying, I've been married for 16 years and I feel empty. Why does she feel empty? She forgot herself mm -hmm. in marriage. Yeah. Do not forget yourself. Remember you have something that brings you fulfillment beyond being a mother and being a wife. That's to that question. To the second, to the question that I've actually just asked, eh? how do you get yourself back on track? Remember who you are as an individual. Ask yourself this, when I die, what do I want to be remembered for? What do I want to be remembered for? Once you answer that question, you're going to be like, oh, it's your personal responsibility to get yourself there. Mm -hmm. So I want to do this. I want to be remembered to somebody who contributed this to society. So once you get that in line, then you start working on that. You have to heal. Forgive the person that you've separated from. Maybe you separated because of one thing or another. Forgive them. Be like, be like you know what? You're not going to hold me back. I'm still going to love myself. I'm mm -hmm. still going to have a vision. And I'm still going to pursue it to make me proud. Not to prove a point to your ex. Mm -hmm. Don't do things to prove a point to your ex. Do things because you're born to be great and to excel and to succeed Ooh, absolutely kush you. one more question yeah and this is tied on to our life sport topic uh this is tito watching all the way from ld and asema i believe some people are meant to be bridges to a successful relationship mm -hmm. so we have to get used to it and forget the past putting aside uh own career for a man should be a personal decision and will discuss and will be discussed in detail between the two parties involved yes. do you think it's right to leave everything of course you've answered that with the other one but yes, yeah you yes. know like leave your career leave your the things that you love your family just to be with a man that you love i've seen some for some for some wives they say i'm going to leave my career for some time mm -hmm. maybe as i raise my kids up until maybe when they are four years or something like that and that can be an option that you do others go like you know what i can still balance i'm still superwoman i can still be a wife be a career woman be a mother and do it all we have so many who are doing that then there are those ones who drop everything they drop everything for the man and for the, for the kids. 
do you know what? Those kids eventually grow up and move yep. out. They move out. When they move out, you shall be so lonely. Yeah. You shall be so lonely shall be because you never took time to invest in you. You never took time to advance in you. So yes, if you're going to do that, I advise do that for some time. But remember also, you've got something that should bring you fulfillment because there's more to life than marriage, having kids, and being a wife. There's more to life than that. Find your thing that you can actually do, that you can go to bed, sleep, and go like, whoa, man, I'm living life. Mm -hmm. If you don't do that, let me warn you, if you're not fulfilled as an individual, even in marriage, you won't find fulfillment. That's why some of us are not fulfilled in marriages, because we're not fulfilled as individuals. Find your thing. Find your thing and love it. And I just have to ask this, sir. Um, you do Decoded. You host Decoded. Yes. And that means you come across different women, different men who are in re relationships, and they face different things. But what do you feel like is one common thing that people m might overlook in relationships, but you hear it so many times and you're like, I think this is something like a lot of couples go through, yes. but they just don't know it. Communication, mm -hmm. sex, money, in-laws. They follow themselves like, a lot. <laughs> yes. oh, the number one is? is communication. Uh -huh. Okay. And then sex, uh -huh. and then yes. money, and then in-laws. Mm -hmm. But then communication now carries everything. Yeah. When communication is lacking, even intimacy is a struggle. Mm -hmm. It's okay. difficult, you know, to get cozy and get intimate with somebody that you're not feeling comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And it's difficult to handle finances with somebody that you're not mm -hmm. talking together. With. And it's difficult to tell somebody that you're not comfortable with, eh, your mom keeps coming home for like mm -hmm. two months, mm -hmm. eh, attend us Kugani, mm -hmm. or your bro is like, so when you have communication right, mm -hmm. when you two are friends, when you can be real with each other, when you can bond, when you can have what we call emotional intimacy, yeah. where I can feel I can talk to you, I feel I can, if, if you step on my toes, I can tell you. Because you see, love is like you're slow dancing, and you know when you're slow dancing, you're, you're so close to the person, they can step on your toes. Yeah. And you step on your toes, you tell them, you know what, that hurt. But you don't stop dancing. You keep on dancing. Let the music keep on playing. So that's what you need to learn. Work on communication skills. Once you have that in check, then even conflict resolution is easy. Then even you feel close. Some people are feeling like they're being used just for mchezo kitanda. Yeah. You know? Why? Yeah. Because communication is lacking, but then communication gets sweet when somebody wants some high yeah. activity. That's yeah. when they start telling you, hey, baby. Hey, love. Hey, what? <laughs> you know? And you're yeah. like, these things are not there in other yeah. times. So learn to build communication. Even in Decoded, one of the key things that people, uh, couples come with is Decoded. It's just in, in co is communication. But we have to find a way mm. to bring it out differently in every single couple. Yeah. So that because every single couple has, get, has got their communication challenge. So mm. work on your communication. At the end of the day, communication is the center of our relationship. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. And, um, you know, talking, you know, I think most of us, we relate to you when yes. it comes yes, to, do. you know, it's like your Dr. Love, <laughs> 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 relationship. like you're that person, do you know I'm going through this and this, but you know, you're also an artist, you even mentioned it, tell us yeah. about it, like, you write music, yeah. you go to the studio, yeah. you, pr you do videos, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell us about that side of you. Yeah, remember the four mm. values that I mentioned? Yes. Love, energy, wisdom, art. Mm -hmm. Some people don't know about the last part, mm. art, that I actually do love yeah. to do art. So I love to create. In fact, for me, I have one rule that, oh, you see that image actually, that went viral. I saw some people sharing that. That's oh a boom God, that's of so Obama amazing. and Uhuru. Uh, you know, so I, I, I love to create. I honestly love to create. So I, I, mm -hmm. I have a rule. Ev no day can end without me creating. That's my rule. Every day I have to create. Every day I have to create. Because for me, it's not to say that I'm an artist, but to mm -hmm. show that I'm an artist. And I also do sing. I also do sing. So, for example, so like... Um, no I oh, now, look what yeah. uko changing room. <laughs> <laughs> I knew very well they were lying to me. <laughs> Can you sing now? I sing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, sir. So, this one, so, this one is dedicated to any person that you find special. Mine is Akello, who is oh, yours. Stop. Tell them to watch, to listen to this song. Unakumbuka... <laughs> Nilipoku uliza, kama unaweza, kukuwa mpenzi wangu. Siku zikawa miezi, miezi zikawa miaka, ukweli mimi, nataka kusema, mimi ni wako, wewe ni wangu. Basi kwa nini ni mfwate mwingine? We number moja, pike watosha. Wimbo wa wale wengine ni kelele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Hey. Okay, <laughs> cool. Wow. Do, As do, we, ha do we have time? <laughs> yes, we, we do, do have. We do for one mm. more question? Uh, okay, yes. cool. So, uh, <laughs> wow.
<laughs> Hello, chat spot. Uh, please ask me about forgiveness in relationships. I find it very hard to forgive. I really do love my partner, but moving on has become uh, such a huge burden. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good question. So I don't know whether you mean moving on means like moving on from the issue or no, moving on out of specify. the relationship. Eh? So let me, uh, let me answer to moving on while in the relationship. Let me tell you this. Sometimes your spouse or your partner is going to hurt you and they don't even know they've hurt you. Sometimes you can hurt someone you don't even know. That's why it is important for you to communicate that, you know what, darling, this and this and this hurt me. Do not use the words, you never do anything right. You always do things wrong. Mm. Don't use the words never or always address that specific issue what you did on friday on sato manzuli Nomiza. so tell him or her that and then appreciate that sometimes that forgiveness you, they may never say sorry but forgive them either way why because it works for you if you hold on to that bitterness you're going to develop ulcers sleepless nights if you've got kids you end up now taking it out on the kids mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, people are coming to your house ume jam una bang mlango una panizo <laughs> nigerian stuff <laughs> So people are wondering, like, what is going on? <laughs> Just you know? do that. Yeah, you know, Sarah. <laughs> some people do that. So, so your, your people, are, your guys, are, people yeah. are wondering, like, what's going on? What's going on? And then you, some people are holding on to a grudge two years, three years later, yeah. waiting for that story. Sometimes that story never comes. But life has to go on, forgive, and move on. But if it's something that you realize that, here, yeah, here is an issue. That's why people like us exist. Yeah. Reach out to us so we can be a mediator. Come for counseling so we can be able to talk to you so that he can see things from your perspective and uh, she can see things from your perspective. And then you can come to work things out. If there's one thing that I've learned, people love their partners. What they don't know is how to love. So mm. I'm here to just help you to how to love your partner, to understand better. People really love their partners. It's just that they have misunderstandings on how to love each other. That's why I'm here. And just tell them where they can find you so that they can now connect with you at a personal level. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I'm one person. My number is in the public domain. Mm. You can reach. <laughs> yes. If you want. I don't take. Na if, you call, if you call me with nonsense, Tishiki Osimu, mm. I'll start you down with Zuri Sana. Mm -hmm. But if you're calling for something good, I'm here. So 0721-590954. 0721-590954. That's the number you can reach out to. And then you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Dayan Masinde. Largely on face Facebook, Dayan Masinde. Join our Facebook page, uh, Married and Saved, uh, Single and Saved for the Singles, and then Wanome Assembly. Wanome, tupotaniko. Sawa, wanawake. But anyway, thank you so much for coming thank through. You. Thank you so much. And oh my God, this was just an amazing episode. It was, it was weird, episode. like two hours. I know, right? <laughs> so we'll see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. And our guys, for 10.30 p.m., we got you covered. To Onane Hizomagida. See y'all.